Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss all the questions which are asked in Cognition Technical Assessment on 27 September. In cluster 1, there are total 5 questions are asked which belong to 3 different sections. Cluster 1 include Java programming, query database, answer SQL using MySQL and coding web UI. There are total 5 questions asked in cluster 1. First section is SQL, which contains two, que two query questions. And the total time allocated for this section is 35 minutes. Second section is Java programming. The total time for this section is 60 minutes. In 60 minutes, we have to write we have to write two coding questions. The third section is coding web UI. The total time allocated for this section is 25 minutes. We have to edit some code in the provided file. There are three files are provided HTML, CSS and JavaScript. The total whole time allocated for this technical assessment is 120 minutes. Section 1 SQL query. In this section, there are two questions. We have to write query for that. The total time for this section is 35 minutes. Question 1. Write a SQL query to display the names of employees who have more than 5 years of experience and join after January 1, 2001. Use employee ID and employee name. Your output should have two columns as given below. So basically, we have to write the query for the employees who have more than five years of experience and join after 1 January 2001. For this question, they are also given some schema. We have to view that schema and write query according to that. This is the answer for that query. We have to write this answer in query section which provided there. Select employee ID as employee ID, EP name as employee name from employee information, where years of experience greater than 5 and joining date greater than 2001-011. This is the question 2 in the SQL section. Write an SQL query to display the course ID, course name and schedule details day and start time of all courses that are taught on Wednesday use WED as value from DB table in the rooms use alias course ID course name day start time your output should have four columns as given below you can view the database schema by clicking the view schema tab at the bottom of the query window Let's see the schema. The schema provided by the question is this. According to this, we have to write the query. This is the sample answer for question 2. You can refer this answer. Section 2 Java programming. There are total two coding questions are asked in this section. Time for this section is 60 minutes. This is the first question which is asked in Java programming coding questions. You can pause the video and read whole questions and try to attempt this question without seeing solution. For first coding question, you can refer this solution. This is the second question which is asked in Java programming. This coding questions you can pause the video and try to attempt it. If you want detailed explanation for this coding questions, you can comment. In Cognition Technical Assessment, we have to write the code from here. Write code here. We do not have to write the code from the scratch, like Accenture. This is the sample answer for the coding second coding question. You can refer this. Section 3. This is the last section of Cognition Technical Assessment. This section includes coding web UI. 
in this section there is one question and total time allocated for this section is 25 minutes this is the question of coding web ui in this question they mention some changes we have to do in html css and javascript file you can refer objectives to change to change thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe the channel